Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Villagers of Agri Western Armenia want their village to be researched. A new district construction has started in Stepanakert. The work of the tripartite working group on the issue of unblocking is not continuing. Turkish DNA project accused of demonizing Turkish people. Xi Jinping, China will help Syria. Sides of Western Armenia, Malabati Bridge. Events dedicated to the 150th anniversary of Alexander Spenzarian started in Kiev. Today's International Children's Day. Residents of the village of Yukar Agadebe, located near the district center of Agar province of Western Armenia, asked to study the structures on the hill of the village. According to them, these structures are historical and there is no information about the place. They say that their village has an underground city on a hill with the same name, and the surrounding structures are historic. At the top of the hill are the remains of various buildings and five crosses carved into the rocks 2 to 2.5 meters high and ranging from 30 to 50 centimeters each. It is believed that there was an ancient temple or church on the hill. The villagers tell that their elders often talk about the buildings on the hill, and as children they saw a staircase descending from the hill to the ground. Here is further proof that native Armenians live in western Armenia. Everything confirms that this place is a place of Christian worship. It is worth noting that when political scientists are silent, witnesses to history speak. The construction of a new district with three apartment buildings has started in the area near Tigranme Street in Stepanakert. The Ministry of Urban Development of the Artsakh Republic informed Artsakh Press. Two of the three buildings of the new district under construction will have 12 and 9 floors. In the buildings of the district under construction, 47 apartments with two rooms, 138 apartments with three rooms, and 33 apartments with four rooms are envisaged. The total living area is 1,807.2 square meters. Areas of public importance are also envisaged in the buildings. An interroad road, a parking lot, green areas will be built. The surrounding area will be improved, the ministry said. At present, the earthworks for the construction of a new district have been completed, and the basic construction works will start soon. The new district is being built with the funding of the Hayastan Ol Armenia Fund. The apartment buildings are planned to be put into operation in 2023. The work of the working group chaired by the deputy prime ministers of Armenia, Russia and Azerbaijan to unblock all economic and transport ties in the region has not continued, particularly since the recent border incidents. Acting Deputy Prime Minister Meheri Grigorian, who has the working group from the Armenian side, reported to Armen Press. As of today, the work is not going on. I have stated many times that this work will be effective only if the general situation is at least stable. In this situation, I do not think that constructive work is possible on that platform. Recently, the contacts on that platform have been interrupted, Grigorian said. The Turkish DNA project is launching a Twitter campaign calling for a boycott of Ancestry.com, the world's largest commercial genealogy company. After the site's results showed how non-Turkish communities in Anatolia assimilated with current Turks, Ancestry DNA focused on demonizing the Turkish people, delegitimizing their presence in Turkey rather than providing information about the genetic composition of the population in question. The appeals offers right. In particular, they are indignant that the site says that the facts of discrimination of Armenians, Pontic Greeks and Bulgarians during the Ottoman Empire, including on the religious and ethnic grounds in the 19th and 20th centuries. In particular, the genocide against Armenians. Turkey categorically opposes and criminalizes any recognition of certain historical events, such as the genocide against the Armenians. Turkish authorities lobby against other countries, including the US, which has officially recognized the genocide against the Armenians. On April 24, 2021, US President Joe Biden officially recognized the genocide against the Armenians. Turkish journalist Uzay Bulut tweeted that resistance to accepting brutal and bijoted episodes in Turkish history has only caused more suffering to non-Turkish minorities over time. Why are Turkish nationalists so afraid of the truth? Because if they confront it, the lies they invented will be completely destroyed, he wrote responding to reports from the Turkish DNA project. China will do all it can to help Syria revive its economy, improve its population, and fight a new type of coronavirus. Chinese President Xi Jinping said this is a congratulatory message to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad on his victory in the presidential elections, test reports. 
The historic Maladabi Bridge in western Armenia, built on the Batman River, has retained its unique beauty since the 12th century. The Maladabi Bridge, built in 1147, is located on the border of Batman and Silvan and still continues to amaze with its magnificent appearance. 7 meters wide and 150 meters long, this bridge is one of the most powerful structures in the world because of the width of the arch. That's why the bridge has slopes that were created for motorhome owners who often drive here. In 2006, the bridge was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. Although the bridge cannot accommodate many visitors these days because of epidemic restrictions, it is still open to passers-by who live in its vicinity, one of which is the village of Malabadi next to it. As a famous poet once wrote, even the dome of St. Sophia Cathedral can fit under the Maladabi Bridge. In referring to these words, we can say that history, geography and memories can fit under the bridge. Dear compatriots, if you want to see this beautiful building in your historical homeland in Western Armenia, now is the right time. The events dedicated to the 150th anniversary of Alexander Spendarian started in Kiev. Analytica UA.net reports, events are scheduled in other regions of the country. The event was devoted to the Armenian cultural heritage in general and the 150th anniversary of Alexander Spendarian in particular, in one of the largest libraries of Kiev, Svichado. Along with the music by renowned Armenian composer Spendarian and Komitas during the commemoration, the guests in the library administration exchanged views and talked about the Armenian-Ukrainian cultural ties and heritage, as well as the opening of a special Armenian corner in the newly renovated library. The 1st of June is International Children's Day. This day was established in 1949 by the International Women's Democratic Federation in Paris. The holiday was first celebrated in 1950. Armenia ratified the Convention on the Rights of the Child in 1990 and the Law on the Rights of the Child of Armenia was adopted in 1996. The holiday is celebrated in all the regions of the Republic and festivities are held everywhere. Another holiday is also celebrated today, World's Parents' Day, which was proclaimed at the 66th session of the UN General Assembly in September 2012. Since 2013, the first day of summer is celebrated annually in honor of all parents of the world. Now we present you Bingyol by Arev and Sembal. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.